forget the other movies. Like, we're going for it. This is going to be the ultimate Godzilla movie. What makes Godzilla 2014 different from the others is that it's matured. The whole sensibility of how to make a movie like this has matured. In 1954, we awakened something. Well, there's nuclear tests in the Pacific. Not tests. They were trying to kill it. What you're gonna see out of this film is, I take it as almost a conspiracy theory, in a way. All right? Well, you're looking at me right now like I'm in a fish tank, right? That's fine, because I know what happened here. And you keep telling everybody that this place is a death zone, but it's not. You're lying. Because what's really happening is that you're hiding something out there. I think it's really hard to define why Godzilla stood the test of time. Um, there's many, many answers. For me, there's something deep in our DNA um, as humans that for millions of years we lived you know, amongst nature and there was always this threat of an animal was going to come and attack us every day. And now we live in the modern world and we've pushed nature away and we've got giant houses. Still inbuilt in us is this expectation that the animal is going to come. And as absurd as it is, I think for that reason it taps into something, it just feels right. You kind of expect it like, of course, of course Godzilla was going to come. I knew it deep down, I always knew it was coming.